What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel, Real South Jersey Boys. I'm Josh. Today we're gonna to talk about uh, the gear that we use for striper fishing. This is part two of a series of uh, how-tos. Uh, we just released a wireline trolling uh, setup video. If you haven't checked that out, make sure you do. Uh, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. We appreciate the uh, support. So let's get into it. This is the Tony Maja outrider. An outrider is a must when you're trolling a uh, wire line. These go into your rod holder, they lock in, and they hold your setup parallel to the water, the wire line trolling setups. So these are a must. Uh, P is for the port side, and then you'll have S for the starboard. They lock in differently, so one's meant for, you know, certain side. So these are a must. These aren't the only ones. Tony Maja makes them. Uh, there's some other out there. You know, you pull the pin. You can fight it with the rod straight up and down. You know, or when you're reeling them back in, when you're retrieving the line, uh, this helps a lot. You can just leave the rod in there and just crank because you're, you're reeling in like 400 feet of, of line. But easy to use and uh, we'll get into our safety leash this is our safety leash so in the in the other video the wireline video i showed you on the uh, on the reel we have a a loop there uh where we this is where we connect it to the lanyard hooks onto that and then this will go down into the boat usually like on the tow rail, tie it in so your rod doesn't get ripped out of the, the out rodder. This has got it, safety leash, you know. You can use these on when you're, you know, you don't have to use this when you're wire line. You can use this whenever you're trolling, just to hold your, your gear in the boat in case it ever gets ripped out. So Tony Maja makes these two, come as a set, and you, you gotta have these. Let's get into the rod and reel combo that we use for trolling our mojos, which we're gonna talk about here in a minute. So we did the wireline trolling setup. That was for the spoons. This is what we use for our mojos. Uh, it's just nothing, nothing crazy. Just a pen, 320 GT, spooled with a 60 pound braid slick. Uh, it's a good all around setup. You can use this for light trolling, not just for mojos, we'll use this for uh, for other applications too, the rod, it's the Pen Mariner stand up, five and a half foot, 250 pounds. But uh, yeah, it's about it. Nothing, nothing special, but it gets the job done. So let's get into let's get into the spoons. So here's the spoons. This is a Tony Maja right here. <clears throat> you know. My favorite colors are green and white. I think there's only really two colors when it comes to striper fishing when you're, when you're trolling. I like green and I like white. So Tony Maja works very well. This is their biggest spoon. This is their number four spoon. <clears throat> it's got the, got the hair back here. They have a single hook. I prefer with uh, and have a treble coming off of here. Um, this is a reliable, reliable tackle company spoon. You see the difference? It's got the treble coming off there. Not that you can't put your own treble on here. You can easily throw a treble on here and use this. But uh, both are great spoons. I prefer to use these. The reliable seem to work better for me. Uh, again, a white and I have a green here. I'm going to change these hooks out. They, they're replaceable. You can change these out. They're getting, as you can see, they're getting kind of beat up. They're pretty rusty. But these guys, these guys work the best for me. I'll throw, when I first start trolling, I'll throw one of these out each side. I'll go with a green and a white, and then usually I'll throw a mojo down the middle or two until I get a feel for what's going on. 
but you can't go wrong with either. Either they're, they're both great spoons. It's all preference. Here is Tony Maja. This is a Tony Maja baby spoon here. This is number one size. This is for, used for a trailer. When you're using a tandem rig, I'll get into that in a second. You're using a tandem rig. This is this is the way back. This is the trailer. So you have your mojo, and then this guy will be sitting back, trailing. You know, I'm, I would never just put this out there by itself and troll this by itself. I mean, unless you're trying to catch some little stripers. I don't know. I wouldn't even waste my time. But they have different sizes. <clears throat> and what these do is, if you watch the other video when I'm talking about the wireline setup, I keep talking about that, that pump in action when there's rods pump, pump. <clears throat> when they're pumping like that, they should be working these spoons should be back and forth through the water. That's how these that's how these run. So you want to have them, you know, that you want to make sure they have the right action or the, or the bass aren't going to hit them. But these are imitating bunkers. <clears throat> uh, Menhaden uh, bunker, you know, you use them for crab bait, you know, for people that aren't familiar with them. That that's usually what uh what you use is a bunker and the bass go after these. So th that's what these are imitating adult size bunker and they work very well i've caught many fish on these so let's get to the uh to the mojos <clears throat> so this is your mojo right here all it is is a big jig head a big heavy weighted jig head gets you to the bottom fast this is 32 ounces so you're talking two pounds you drop this and she gets down there in a hurry uh, with a shad body. These are just called shads. White, yellow, there's different colors, they're interchangeable. And then you got your, your leader here, your mono leader. That's all. You hook your snap swivel to this, throw it in. You're using braid, so you just drop it in. It's not, it's not hard to use like the wire line. Drop her in, let it hit the bottom once you feel that. I like to crank up a couple times, then I like to release it again and hit that bottom again and then crank up a couple times and then that's where I'll let it uh, ride right there. You want it just, just over that bottom. So these some guys swear by these, they'll only use mojos. Some guys will go out throw them four mojos over and, and they'll call it a day. That's what they'll use. They won't use spoons. I always have a spoon in my presentation. Um, I like using the two spoons and I like throwing a mojo at least one down the middle, if not two, depending how, you know, the day's going. So they come all different colors, white, you know, this is, this is the biggest one. They have lighter ones. Like I said, it's like 32 ounce. Uh, you know, they have smaller ones. This one has a rattle on its head. I don't know if you can pick that up or not. Anything like that is, is good. It works. It tracks the fish. Uh, my, my biggest striper I ever, had to the boat i didn't technically get it in the boat because we we dropped it was on one of these setups and it was in a tournament uh it kept falling out of the uh out of the net and we lost it but these definitely work and they're they're easy they're easy to use so you don't have to have any special setups to use these so that's the plus for these whereas the spoons you have to have the wire line set up here's the tandem i was talking about earlier So this is your three-way. Okay, I'm not going to untie this whole this whole mess here, but so you take your snap swivel from your main line, hook it to here. Okay, then this guy is going to hook to your to your mojo. Like I would hook it to this guy right here. You're going to throw that over first, and once that goes down, you're going to throw the rest of this out. And this is your trailer right here. This guy is going to be your trailer. Some guys swear by, they'll only use tandem rigs. Um, you know, it, it's all preference. Either or, the singles. Singles work just as good for me. But, uh, you know, there's different combinations you can use. You don't have to use this, you know. There's, there's all different. I could go on and on, different combinations. But mojos are definitely 
user friendly. You don't need special setups. You just drop them in and go. You do use braid with them. I wouldn't suggest use a mono. That's not gonna work. But uh, so that's that's the mojos. <clears throat> this is a this is what they call a stretch. Stretch to 30, so it means this will dive down 30 plus feet. They have stretch 40s, stretch 50s. Uh, these are always good to carry with you. You never know. You know, I like to have a, a variety of lures when we go out there. I usually have a bucket or two with me, and I have all my gear in there because you never know what you gotta what you gotta grab. But these have a really uh, really harsh vibrating action. I mean, these things really vibrate because this this digs down in there. But I haven't caught a whole lot of fish on these. I don't you mainly because I don't use them a lot. I usually, like I said, I go to with the spoons and the mojos, but these definitely work. So I always keep a few of these with me too. Again, you don't have to use wire. You just hook up with your braid, drop her over and, and she'll get down there. <clears throat> uh, umbrella rigs. Here's a little mojo right here. This is the trailer on this mojo rig. So you hook your main line, hook the snap swivel right here. Drop her over. This guy is going to be trailing. It's all shad. These are shad bodies. And that's how that works. It's a good setup. All different colors. They come in colors combinations. <clears throat> Here's a uh, white sand eel. So these worked really good in the fall because the, the fall run had a lot of sand eels they were around so the fish were definitely eating them so you want to as they say match the hatch so if they're hitting on sand eels they're you know that's what you want to throw out there now if you can see I have a 12 ounce drill weight on this to get it down because they're holding at the bottom you have to get down there where the fish are so that's going to help you get down there. If you were just to drop this over, if you're just going to hook up to this with no weight, you know, it's not going to get down there where need it. Same goes with this. You could also add a drill to this one, even though this does have a little weight to it, this little mojo, but it's not enough to get you down there. So I recommend drill weights when using these. This one worked well, this white one, this fall. Now, like I said, white and green are really the only two colors that I would even bother with when you're striper fishing but as you can see I have a red uh, tube umbrella set up here which in the fall worked well so you know it's it all depends what the fish are biting that day you know what I mean that's why I suggest you always bring a variety of things with you so this definitely came in handy this worked in the fall again I would add a drill weight to this this is made by Niners Lures right here out of Massachusetts. Niners, they've been around a while. They make good stuff. <clears throat> Check them out. And uh, like I said, Tony Maja makes the spoons, makes some of the gear. You know, check out all his stuff is uh, proven. Works well. But uh, that's about it for the striper gear. I could go on. There's there's more that I have, but this is your this is your basic. If you're uh, if you're just getting into it, uh, the mojos are really simple to use. Like I said, you don't need any wireline gear. But if you want to troll the spoons, you have to get that wireline set up. So make sure you check out that video if you haven't. That's all for this episode. Um, we're gonna have more to come, so make sure you uh, stick around and check those out. Uh, see you next time.